What's up you guys, it's your boy Techie Chris and I'm back here with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about CompTIA Network Plus and how to pass the CompTIA Network Plus. In this video I'm going to discuss all the resources and all the things that I use to pass Network Plus. I'll also tell you a little bit about Network Plus. I'll explain to you how Network Plus has impacted my career so far and why I believe that you should get Network Plus. So for those of you who don't know, Network Plus is an entry level certification from CompTIA. Network Plus validates that you know the fundamentals about networking and it is a highly respected certification in the industry. So the CompTIA Network Plus itself typically has a about 90 questions. These 90 questions are made up of both performance based and multiple choice questions. The majority is usually going to be multiple choice. Though. Typically you have about three to five performance based questions. You have 90 minutes to take this exam. Passing score for this exam is a 720. That is out of a scale of 100 to 900. The things that the Network Plus covers is network fundamentals at 24%, network operations at 16%, network security at 19%, and network troubleshooting at 22%. I believe at the moment this exam costs $358 to take, but there are many discounts. I got mine at a discounted price. If you go on Google and type in ACAD CompTIA exam voucher, you should find a voucher there. So for this next section, I'm going to be telling you guys the exact exam resources that I use personally to pass my CompTIA exam. So the first resource that I used was Jason Dion's full course on Udemy. Jason Dion breaks down the topics in a very well and organized manner. Jason Dion also has a practice test at the end of the exam that will also help you so much. He makes it very easy for you to understand him. Jason Dion also has another package where you're able to get, I think, I believe it's four practice tests, but that is separate from the actual course. But the bundle with the four practice tests is also very amazing and will help you with your exam. You should take your time and go through the entirety of Jason Dion's course. It will help you so much. So the second resource that I used was Professor Messer's YouTube course. So Professor Messer has a completely free course on YouTube for CompTIA. I believe he has CompTIA A+, and Security+, Plus as well. And his course helped me with every exam that I took for CompTIA. The way I went about it is that I would use Jason Dion's course to learn the material, and then I would fill in the gaps with Professor Messer's course. Professor Messer's course is also very organized and will help you pass your exam. Professor Messer also does study groups once a month. You're able to join his study groups live and learn a lot more about the CompTIA exam objectives. He also posts the study groups on his page when he's done, so you can go back and review if you happen to miss one. All in all, Professor Messer is a great source for your CompTIA Network Plus exam and he's free. The next source that I'm gonna talk about is Informatic Labs on YouTube. Informatic Labs on YouTube is a very slept on resource to use. Informatic Labs has a YouTube course where he just dumps a whole bunch of questions that help you so much for your exam. If you go on Informatic Labs page and go to his Network Plus playlist, you will see so many questions. When you have free time, I would advise you just to go look on his page and see those and watch those videos. It will help you so much. I would also recommend that you read through the exam objectives in full. Leading up to the days before my test, I made sure that I was able to explain every exam objective in depth. The last resource that I used was Prepaway. Prepaway is a software that has exam dumps for many different certification exams. I use Prepaway closer to my exam date. I advise you to use Prepaway when you believe that you're ready to pass your exam so you can prepare it to pass. I used Prepaway leading up to my exam for the last week. So that's it for my exam resources that I used to pass my Network Plus exam. Now let's talk about some study strategies. I worked full time while prepping for this exam, so I would allocate the second half of my day to studying for this exam. I would usually spend about four to six hours after work studying for this exam. Also, when I was at work, when I had free time, I would take that time as an advantage to study for my Network Plus. I recommend using things like ChatGPT to ask you questions. ChatGPT is a great resource that is very slept on. Everyone learns in a different way. The way I found best to learn is watching a video and then writing it down and then reading it later. So what I would do is I would watch, for instance, a Jason Dion video. As he's talking, I would write down the information that he's saying and then I would go back and read it later. Another way that also helped me was using flashcards. And just do a lot of research on YouTube and stuff. If you don't understand the concept, just go on YouTube and type it up. Or you can even go on ChatGPT because ChatGPT is also another great search engine for when you don't know something. So the key topics I believe you should master for your Network Plus, you should definitely try to memorize the protocol numbers. You should do your best to master subnetting. Personally on my exam, and I don't know how many people had this same experience, but I didn't have one subnetting question on my exam. I know people who had 10 or more subnetting questions on their exam, but me personally, I didn't have one subnetting question on my exam. I believe you should learn a lot of security concepts because those tend to be a bit tricky on the exam. Exam. Make sure you learn your WPA2 and WPA3. Also make sure that you understand VPNs and VLANs. Another thing I would say is very essential for you to learn is CompTIA's troubleshooting methodology. Learn CompTIA's six step troubleshooting process. You also need to learn network topologies and you need to learn the difference between switches, routers, and hubs and all other network devices. Now let's talk about exam day. As someone who has taken a good bit of certification exams now, one of the best things that you can do for yourself is just to remain calm. You shouldn't be overwhelmed or feel scared or anxious towards 
the day of your exam, which I know is a natural feeling because me too, I have felt anxious and nervous before an exam, but I believe that if you just calm your nerves, take deep breaths and just prepare, you will be good. You need to be confident in yourself because if you're not confident in yourself, who's going to be confident in you? you? Trust that your study habits have led you into the right place and then now you have the information that you need to pass this exam. Personally, this exam was like a blur to me. I remember starting the exam and then next thing I know, the exam is about over. I remember when I got the pass on my screen, that was like one of the happiest moments I've had in a while. You just have to go in with your head up and be confident that you're gonna pass this exam. So what are the next steps after passing your CompTIA Network Plus exam? That really depends on the field in tech or IT that you're trying to move into. If you're trying to move into security, I would definitely say go ahead and grab your Security Plus. If you're trying to stay on the networking track, I would say go ahead and go for your CCNA. Now that you have this knowledge, make sure you start applying for jobs. Don't be scared to apply for jobs. Just because you see that a job needs three years of experience and you have one year of experience, still put your application into that job because you never know. There was times that I put applications in for jobs that needed five years of experience. I still got interviewed by them with my one to two years of experience that I had at the time. You just really need to make yourself marketable. Make sure you get on LinkedIn and connect with people. Also, I feel like it's a great idea to go to career fairs and job fairs around your area. All in all, the Network Plus is a very, very good entry level exam. I was able to pass my Network Plus with one month of studying. And when I say one month of studying, that doesn't mean I went from nothing to something in one month. I never took it serious until I said, hmm. I'm gonna schedule my exam day. Before I scheduled my exam day, there were some days that I would study for two hours and then I would go another three weeks without even looking at a CompTIA exam objective. The biggest advice for you is to go ahead and schedule that exam right now. When you schedule your exam, it makes you want to take it a lot more. You've already put your money into it, so in a sense, it kind of tricks your mind that you need to go and take this. You can't waste your money. So go ahead and schedule that exam immediately. Like, like what are you waiting for? Like, now, like, I'm not moving until you schedule your exam. Okay, I'll move. You, you got me, I'll move. But yeah, man, go ahead and schedule your exam as soon as you can. Well guys, that's it for this video. I really do appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. Like I said, Network Plus is a great certification, guys. It has helped me to excel my career so much. There is so much that you can do with Network Plus to excel your career. But that is it for the video, guys. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out of here.